All right, this one's good. This has got the piece we're looking for. This is a very large Egyptian alabaster vase. We didn't like what we saw in the paperwork, so we're gonna bring this piece back to the office. There was a time period stated in the invoice, but we never go by the invoice at face value because a lot of times documents can be uh, forged. A lot of these shipments will list the artifact as an antique 100 years or older. It's a little deceiving because you can open up the crate and it's definitely something that is way older than 100 years. The title on this piece that was invoiced is the Monumental Vase, so I think that's pretty fitting. Pieces this large don't survive antiquity very well. The fact that this piece is fairly intact is a rare specimen. The most important thing we need to do now is we need to get photographs so a subject matter expert can weigh in on the vase to determine if it's authentic. So one of the telltale signs of alabaster is it has a translucent quality. As big as this piece is, light will shine right through the alabaster. This vase is not glass, nor is it plastic. It's solid stone that was carved. It's beautiful. OK, let's pack it up carefully, guys. One, two, three. If the alabaster vase is determined to be authentic, the very next thing we're going to have to ascertain is whether that particular artifact left its country of origin in good legal standing, which means we have to coordinate with a foreign government. So we still have some more pieces of the puzzle to put together to determine whether we're seizing it or not.